sculpting in Blender get the very powerful feature of tiled strokes. And that just means that your strokes will be repeated along axis you can specify. Let me show you by example. You can find the tiling options down here and symmetry lock. And here, let me just turn on tiling in all on all axes. And now when I make a stroke, you see it gets repeated along all axes, which is super cool. And for example, very useful if you're sculpting fish scales, but there is more to it. For example, you can change the offset. Let me change the offset in X and Y. And let's see what's happening. And now you see, I can also create some kind of alien spaceship design with it. And I can also lock axes, like for example, if I lock the C axis, I cannot move anything up or down, only to the left and right. So let me do this and increase this ship design a little more. So you already see that tile strokes are very powerful, but there is even more to it. And let me show you this by an example of a simple plane I got here. Because when you're using tight strokes, your geometry, if you're doing it right, your geometry will also be tileable. And for this, I will turn on tiling only for X and Y and lock both X and Y as well. So uh, whenever I'm sculpting on this here, it will only move the geometry up the C axis. And now you see when I'm sculpting here, I get perfectly tiling geometry. And this is also working if I'm using an array modifier on it. So let's turn this on and go to object mode. And now you see perfectly tiling geometry. And if you think, hey, I can use this for creating textures like displacement or bump maps as well, you're totally right.